we are trying to understand commercial policy and in this lecture video we try to understand the consequences of a country imposing a tax on imports and what are the consequences on the importing country so let us examine that once again you see a diagram that i introduced in my previous lecture video here is equilibrium in autarky and based on this consumers and producers see a price of three dollars per unit how much is demanded and supplied it is three units now when the country engages in foreign trade and the same product is being sold in the world market for one dollar compared to three dollars so this becomes the world price and this becomes the relevant price for this country and we know at this price this country will supply this much to the domestic market how much will be the demand it will be five units and since demand is greater than supply so this country will start importing four units of this product and in my previous video i have shown that the total surplus under free trade is greater than what we would have under autarky now once the country has started engaging in foreign trade what happens when the government imposes a tax on imports let us look at that so under free trade the relevant price for this economy is one dollar per unit now the government decides to impose a uniform tax of one dollar per unit imported into this country and so the price that becomes relevant for this country for domestic consumers as well as sellers is the world price of the product plus the tax we pay on it and so this is two dollars so this world price plus taxes is now the relevant price for different economic agents in this country so let us look at this now at this price see what happens you take this price line to the supply curve how many units of this good will be produced domestically it will be two units so as compared to free trade when we impose the tariff on imports the domestic production increases from one to two what has happened to demand for this product under free trade it was five units and now we have imposed a tax of one dollar per unit so the demand for this product becomes four units so the supply has increased the demand for this product has fallen because we have higher prices now and so what has happened to imports imports is now the difference between four and two that is two units under free trade the country was importing four units of this good now because of trade restriction like tariff on imports the country is importing two units of this good so when we impose a tax we know there'll be an increase in domestic production and employment may increase there is a decrease in domestic consumption of this good now just focus on the following look at this rectangle rectangle what is the height of this this is one dollar and what is this this is the amount of tax collected by the government per unit how many units of this good are being imported into the country it is two units so when we multiply one dollar the amount of tariff with the amount imported what this will give us is two dollars and what will that will that will be the tax revenue which is collected by the government so let me just write this here show this here so this rectangle that we have this represents the tax or the tariff revenue that is collected by the government because the government has imposed a tax on imports now let us figure out the welfare consequences of imposing a tariff and compare that outcome 
to what we would have under free trade. Or what we are trying to do is we are trying to figure out whether commercial policy is gives us a superior outcome relative to free trade. And let us, in order to do that, we have to figure out consumer, producer, and other surpluses. And let us use our standard practice, and that is this one represents the area of this triangle. What is two? Two represents the area of this figure. What is three? Three represents the area of this figure, and so on. So I've labeled this into different parts, and each of these Roman numerals represent the area of the figure in which it is enclosed. Now, based on these different areas, let us figure out consume the different surpluses under free trade. And we know the price under free trade is $1 per unit. If this is the price which is relevant for producers and consumers, we know the area enclosed by this humongous triangle this one this will represent the consumer surplus so in terms of all these roman numerals it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 and this is what i have written here this is the consumer surplus what about the producer surplus it is given by this area 4 so we have producer surplus here and what will be the total surplus that accrues to the society? It will be a sum of 1 through 10. And this is what we have under free trade. Now let us look at what happens when we have restricted trade or tariff in place. In such a case, the relevant price for us is $2 which is the price faced by consumers as well as producers of this country. Now look at the following. When you have this price, what will be the extent of consumer surplus? It will be enclosed within this triangle. This triangle. What about the producer surplus? It will be the triangle below the price which is relevant for these you know, producers. So, so let us do that. And here I have written down what will be the consumer surplus under restricted trade. So it will be 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6. And that's what we have here. What about producer surplus under restricted trade? It will be 3 plus 4 and that's what we have here now along with this i had explained when you impose a tariff of one dollar per unit and you import two units the area of this rectangle represents the tariff revenue or the amount of money which is collected by the government because of this import tax and so this is a sum of eight plus nine and that's what we have here now, as compared to free trade, in restricted trade, the government has become an active participant. So we have consumer surplus, producer surplus, then tariff revenue. And when you add up all this, what you have is total surplus under restricted trade. So you add that up and what you have is a sum of all this except for two things, the area of this triangle, which is 7 and 10. So 7 and 10 are missing under total surplus. So now let us compare the outcome that we have under restricted trade to that of what we have under free trade. And as you see, you, when you compare restricted trade to free trade in terms of consumer surplus, Clearly, under restricted trade, consumer surplus is lower relative to what we have under free trade. What about producer surplus? Here, it is much more relative to what we had under free trade because one of the consequences of putting a tariff is 
it will increase domestic production and so the producer surplus increases and then we have tariff revenue which is the amount which accrues to the government and in case of free trade we do not have any amount here so the tariff revenue collected by the government is greater because under free trade there is no tariff revenue and when you compare total surplus under restricted trade to what we have under free trade what we find is the following and that is that is when you impose a tariff there is a redistribution of income away from consumers to producers to the government but when you compare the total benefit to the society this is lower under restricted trade and by how much amount the amount represented by this area 7 and the amount represented by this area 10 now when you impose a tariff what you are doing is you are giving an incentive to domestic producers to produce more and when you are importing this product we know these producers are not very efficient in terms of the world market and so in a way we are giving an incentive to inefficient group of people and if you look at 10 what has happened is because of the higher price now the consumers are buying less and so their surplus is reduced now these two little triangles which in a way represent inefficiencies associated with with imposing a tariff these the sum of these triangles is referred to as dead weight loss let me just type this out dead weight loss and this is the amount which is lost by the society when we impose a tax on imports so this part is permanently lost by the society and how much is it it is the area 7 plus 10 this is called dead weight loss so as compared to free trade we are able to retrieve almost all the effects and we know there's a redistribution of income away from consumers to producers and the government but there's a part of that surplus the society loses permanently and that is called dead weight loss and that is a sum of 7 and 10. Now a quick summary of different alternatives from the perspective of a society. Number one we established is free trade is better than autarky. The second thing we established is free trade is better than restricted trade. And how do we compare restricted trade to autarky? Restricted trade due to tariff is better than autarky as long as some condition is met and that is the tariff revenue plus the change in consumer surplus must be greater than the dead weight loss. These Roman numerals within parentheses are the areas of the figures in which these numbers are enclosed. So you can work this way through. So this completes our discussion. Thank you for your time.